There's an animated Godzilla movie made by the guy who made Evangelion. Yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, let me take a quick drink of water <laughs> before we uh, do this one. I think I'm just going to run past them. That might not be the best idea, but... Fighting big hordes of enemy like this is kind of bullshit. I mean, not only is it not really good to do with a big, big ass sword and no shield, but also it's just kind of—I just kind of don't like it. Like, kind of the nice thing about the original Dark Souls was that like one-on-one -on -one combat was fun, and so they focus a lot on one-on-one -on -one combat. Whereas this one seems to like multiple enemies a lot more. Like, it's almost like they thought, oh, it's Dark Souls 2, so it's gotta have more of everything. More ways to heal. More enemies to attack at a time. More problems with the game. Don't, you're not gonna attack me when I'm next to your big boss man, right? You're gonna stop at that invisible line right there, that little mark on the ground. You can't go past this line. This is my side of the room. That's what I thought. Why does it make the same sound? And why does it cut out? <laughs> okay. This is the best designed boss in the game. Spoilers, I didn't know I had to fight this guy. You wonder if the directing style changed the last year, seeing he was an alcoholic and depressed when he made Evangelion. Hmm. This... This isn't a boss. I just got the key I need. Uh... Is this like an optional boss? Are you telling me that the, the best designed boss in the game is an optional boss? Should I kill this fucker? I mean, is there any- is, is that what you're telling me? No, don't talk to you. I want to read what this says. Good luck. Okay, he's probably hard. Um, here's some people dying. Yeah, right. Um... I mean, if he's if he's the best designed boss in the game, I mean, maybe we'll give him give him a shot. He's fucking huge, which is something. He's not a human, which is something. Yes, kill him. Attack him. You'll see what they mean. Oh, is this a meme? Is he not actually well designed? I mean, I like that he's different than every other fucking boss we've we've had so far. Oh, he's so big. Was that fire unavoidable? Or could I have run away from that? Is he gonna do it again? It's not unavoidable. Okay, okay. That's a good start. I don't like that it seems I'm gonna have to just run towards him then run away whenever he does the fire. Please. Okay, alright, okay. Does hitting his tail do anything? Because that would be good boss designs if breaking the tail off actually did something. Okay, no fire. I mean, in a very basic way, I like this guy's design so far because he just has... He has attacks that can actually be read and aren't all, uh, like done away with by just rolling towards him, you know? He's got like big attacks and that, you know, like different attacks. They're not all just sword strike one or sword strike two or ranged attack. But I don't know if I'd say he's, ama he's an amazing boss or anything like that. You know, he's a pretty standard big boy boss, you know? Fuck. Like, the kind of thing you'd see in Dark Souls 1, it's like, oh yeah, that's a big one. That's a big guy. That's how, you know, that's one of those bosses. Right. You know. What the f- What? Come on! The first time the fire hits me, it only hits me once, but the second time it hits me twice? I could have had that easily if it worked the same way both times. 
How did the timing not... Because I was further away the first time, so it only had time to hit me once? Or, like, how... How could that possibly have hit me a different amount of times with the same attack? I don't understand it. Also, who said that there was 30 minutes left of the game? There were entire fucking areas and, like, multiple bosses that we hadn't gotten to yet. Like, really? Uh, how could I have beaten this in 30 minutes? I understand I'd, I've taken a little bit of time for some of these things that wasn't ne necessarily necessary. But, uh, 30 minutes. Or was I supposed to go to this place earlier? Okay, guess I gotta kill this guy again. What the- what? Okay, alright. Fuck off, alright! I was away for a second, I assume you already beat the boss. Nope, I fucked it up, actually. Believe it or not. I fucked it up because uh because his attack worked differently the second time the first time it, it was i was able to withstand it the second time i wasn't it was the exact same attack uh but i think it, it wasn't hard we got him down like a quarter health or at least a third health so i'm not worried about doing it you thought i'd already done this oh okay Let's see sensible, I guess. Tom Clancy actually directed the first few games. I didn't know that. I did hear that the reason why, uh, apparently Tom Clancy thought it, would, it was like, that the people playing his games should never be allowed to play the terrorists. And that's why in Rainbow Six, like, even though Tom Clancy's dead, I mean, he's, uh, spoilers, uh, Tom Clancy died in real life. Um, despite that, it's still, like, in the contract or something, or maybe they just want to respect his wishes. And, uh, so, in Rainbow Six Siege, that's why you have different, like, government police forces fighting each other. Instead of what would obviously be the more reasonable thing, is that the, the team defending is some sort of terrorist group, you know, because they have a bomb or a hostage or something. Uh, and the team attacking is a, is a government agency, is a police force or something. But, uh, no. <laughs> you can't do that, because then one of the players would have to play as the terrorist, and Top Classy wasn't okay with that. Which is just kind of... interesting. I mean, I guess I get the thinking, but it's kind of stupid thinking. Siege is ops training. I've heard that. Yeah, like, that's the official explanation. Is that, uh, it's actually, like, VR or something, and they're actually just training. You know? Uh, I've heard that. It's, it's still stupid. You know, that that was clearly something they... I, I think they... I mean, I think that's actually in one of the books, too. So I guess it's like, okay. It still just seems stupid. Maybe it's maybe it's more reasonable than I realize. But uh, it sure seems stupid. Are you... Are you... Uh, come on! I'm going through the fog door, okay? You can't just... I don't want to fight all these f stupid fuckers. A week after September 11, 2011, terrorist attacks uh, on the O'Reilly factor, Clancy suggested that left-wing politicians in the U.S. were partially responsible for the attacks due to their gutting of the CIA. Tom Clancy wasn't woke enough. Yeah, I'd say so. I'd... That's not my immediate thought. Now, blaming it on left-wing politicians, <laughs> it's inspired, Clancy. Um, you know, I'll give him points, that's a fun one. But, uh, is that actually the case? I, I doubt that less CIA funding is what caused it. Do you hear this? Do you hear that audio cutting out? Ah, oh, fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck right off. Yeah, no. No thanks. It's like they get too many sound effects and they just can't handle it. Like, especially when, like, multiples of them are attacking. It doesn't. You, you, yeah, you hear that? I attacked him and it was just like, there was silence for a split second. It was in the first book, the one called Rainbow Six. Oh, okay. Well, fuck me. Alright.
Does the VR explain the anime girl charms you can hang on your weapons? <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Not having the Crusader charm on all guns. I don't have, like, any charms. The only charm I have is a little dinosaur, so I have a dinosaur on all my guns. These enemies look fucking awful. They look like they're made of tin foil. <laughs> yeah, they're not- they're not great. And I don't want to- I don't want to fight them. They're fu- This- I don't want to fucking fight an army of these stupid fuckers. Okay, I just want to walk into the boss. I mean, I know this is an optional boss. And, uh, trust me that that is going through my mind right now. The fact that I could just fucking not fight these guys. Um, and just not fight this boss so that I don't have to fight these guys. Please. I didn't do it in time. I didn't do it. I, I retrieved instead. And look, they all follow me! Fuck. What do you get from killing this boss? Okay? He's well designed. Alright. You know, uh, f fair. Okay. Uh, is that it? Because I got the key. I think I might just leave. Um, because it- that's the thing. The boss... That's no problem. The guys outside of the boss, they're just fucking annoying. I don't want to fight them. Like, I, I just don't want to spend my time on that. Just, you know, no no thank you. Um, yeah, like, I think I'm just gonna go... I'm just gonna go back, uh, here. You get an old dragon bone. I don't even know what those are. So, uh, whatever. That's... No, I don't care. Yeah, I don't even know what that is. You get souls worth a hundred K? Yeah, whatever. I don't need souls. Yeah, it's, it's fine. I'll just ignore it. You think you get some good shit. Yeah, but I mean, like, what? Every All the good shit we get, we never use anyway because we're just... We don't want better armor because it's too heavy. And we don't want a better sword because it... Or we don't want a better weapon because it wouldn't be this weapon. It wouldn't be big. I mean, unless he drops a great sword, which would then be tempting. Uh, but even then... Even then, it's like, is it really worth it? Hmm. Hmm. Then I'd have to upgrade that sword, which I guess would be very easy, because I'd get all the souls from killing the boss. That was a nice little screen shake there. Uh, so, uh, hmm. I think let's just see what's over here. So now we should be extremely close to beating the game. I'm guessing there's like one more real boss after those two bosses we fought those first two bosses were just like uh just like allowing you to get to the real boss there'll be some secret path now right the key will open it up magically or not huh yeah i've got the uh i've got the ashen Mist key. Delve into the memories of the wi Oh. Oh? I thought I was told that if there's not a boss after you kill these guys, it's because you have to go and kill and go there and get the key. But I have the key. And so I come back here. And there's nothing there's nothing else. So is there something else something else I've missed? Another thing I have missed? Okay. I mean, I don't have to kill the dragon, right? I mean, he wasn't even hostile to me, so there's no way I had to kill the dragon. You may need a giant soul. Uh... Uh, I think I used the giant souls. Like, I'm pretty sure I just, like... I've got one. <laughs> I thought the giant souls were, like, an optional thing to weaken some boss or something. Top voted answer. Okay, if you've beaten them all, then you need to immediately been placed in a fight against the final boss. If you don't... If you don't, then you have to get the giant's kinship key after, off of the giant lord boss. Go through all the memories that are in the game by interacting with the giants. Can't remember the exact locations, but the giant lord is behind the king's door near the pursuer boss fight. Okay, I know exactly where that is. Okay, I got you. Go across the bridge with the salamandra under it. Or salamanders under it. Don't know what I fucking said. You know what? I'm just gonna use a Homer bone because whatever. Uh, that you need a soldier key for. Equip the king's ring. 
And you can go into the... Okay, that makes sense. You didn't fight any of the giants? I don't know. I fought one, obviously. I've got a giant soul, but I don't know how many there are or if I fought them or anything. I don't... I'm, to be honest, I don't even really pay attention to a lot of this game because I'm kind of... I'm, I'm, the story, especially, is kind of really boring. And uh, the game isn't much different in that way. Which is just a sad thing to say. What was the fucking level? It's like one of... It's like... Yeah, this one. It's a really sad thing to say because I really like the first Dark Souls game. Like, it is like one of my favorite games ever. I have replayed that game so many times. I will never replay this one. I can tell you that right now. Like, I have... I have... I am not even done and I have no desire... <laughs> I have no desire to play it again. Right? Whereas when I was playing Dark Souls the first time, I was like, Dude already like i'm thinking of like different ways to play the game different like different builds i can do like i was stoked to play it again to be fair the giant memory shit ab is absolutely retarded and you have no idea you're supposed to find out what you're supposed to do with them yeah yeah like how would if i did not have someone in the chat telling me that i needed to go to this fucking thing and enter into their memory I would- there's no way I would- I would get that. That's just impossible. like, I would- No one- no- there's no indication that that thing is anything more than a decoration. Memory of Je- Jeg- or- yeah. One cannot reside within a memory for long. What do you mean, I'll be teleported out or I'll die or- Um... Oh, that's good. That's, that's fucking good again. Uh, alright, I mean, I guess I'll just, I can't stay for long, guys, so I, I guess let's just ignore everyone, and, well, this is something. Cool. Yeah, I mean, if I can't stay for long, I suppose I'm just going to get killed. Okay, that's... Wait, but here's the boss. Oh, that that's it? Look at all this line of woo. <laughs> oh yeah, great lore. What's the lore here? Oh, there were giants, and there was like fighting with the giants. And uh, why? I don't know. Where the giants come from? I don't fucking know. Why can you go in their memory? I have no fucking idea. Why are the giants even attacking? Or why is someone else attacking the giants? I don't fucking know. Read the item descriptions, then you'll know, right? Read the stupid fucking lore in the items description. Well, at least the giant is the easiest fucking thing in the game. It's not good that I've said that a number of times, that, like, that's the easiest boss in the game, but that was the easiest boss in the game. Fuck! Are you... No. No. I don't accept that. No. That is... Mm. Please. Please, game. I was just going to pick up that stupid fucking item. <sighs> you got the key. Yeah, but I got fucking 84,000 souls down there. <laughs> uh, can I go back in the in the memory? Apparently you can't stay for long. So I'm, I'm hoping at least lets me go back. Good job. Yeah, no, that was... Doesn't matter when the game is garbage, though. Yeah, yeah, yes. There were giants, and they came from overseas, and King Vendrick is responsible for that. That's all you remember. Okay, well, it's more than I've picked up on so far. But yeah, I don't care. I mean, that's the thing. Oh, the funny thing is there's actually much more ways to play Dark Souls 1, 2 than Dark Souls 1. Yeah, but the problem is, none of the ways in which you can play Dark Souls 2 are as fun as any of the ways as you can play Dark Souls 1. Right? I mean... Uh, my point isn't that there are more or less ways to play the game. I actually... I actually cannot do it again. I actually lost 84,000 souls. Yeah, what I'm saying is... there's. It, my point is not that there's more or less ways to play the game. My point is that Dark Souls 1... I wanted to play. 
in a bunch of different ways. This game, I don't care if it's got a thousand ways to play it. I don't want to play any more of them. Right? I mean, like, this, this, is, this is good enough for me. Um, yes, yeah, so it's, it, it, oh, no, there it is. Okay, good. I just couldn't do it while there's invasion. Perfect. Okay, yeah, let's just run and grab that real quick. If you pay Vati Vidya $10 on Shekeltron, you could get the entire story of Dark Souls 2. Then play Neo, dumbass. I want to play Neo, but it's not on sale ever, so I haven't gotten it yet. I do really want to play Neo, though. It looks really fun. I also want to play Dark Souls 3. Looks pretty good. People say it's good anyway. Uh, but it it's costs money. <sighs> and I've got other games to play, you know what I mean? I'm playing through like four or five games right now. I don't necessarily need another one. Oh, okay. Uh, no. You know what? I don't even care about that item. There's nothing... That item could not be worth it. There's no way. I mean, there's, there's nothing that item could be that, that would make me think like, yeah, let's go get it. Soul of the Giants. Oh, I actually did need to go here and get that. Killing the boss was not enough. I think. I'd like to play Neo, but I've heard the port is garbage. I don't know, pe people said that about Dark Souls' port too, and it was like fine. I had no problems with it ever, so it might just be how good your... How good your computer is. You gonna enter the memory of the other dead giant near the beginning? Uh, the question is, is it required? I have the giant's kinship, so I don't think it's required. That's all I needed. So no, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I mean, that, was, that boss was stupid. I don't want to fight it again. Grants access to the throne room beneath the castle. Why is the mouse on the screen? <laughs> Why is the mouse on the screen again? Do you see this? I just moved it away. What the fuck was that? Um... So, it's here, right? Dark Souls port is shit. You're talking about DS fix. Well, yeah. But, I mean, okay. But, but some people were saying it was shit even with DS fix. And I was like, that's just, like, not true. Everyone uses DS fix. Yeah, but I, I, somebody was saying before that, like, it was still bad. Oh, right. We should, prob we should probably level up with our almost 100k souls. The game is unplayable without DS Fix. Yeah, I mean, I, that's what I've heard. You actually haven't heard any opinions on Dark Souls 3. I've, I've heard people say it was fun. I've heard some people say it's the best. Like, it's the best one. Like, I mean, basically any of them, there's somebody who thinks it's the best one. But I've heard, like, a fair number of people say it's the best one. Whereas, you know, like, I've heard n maybe, like, one fucking guy say this one's the best one. I've heard a lot of people say Dark Souls is the best one. A good amount of people say Dark Souls 2, or, er, uh, Demon Souls is the best one. And a lot of people who say Bloodborne. So, I, I don't know. But it sounds like, well, it's probably at least good if that many people think it's the best one. I mean, Probably. Is that a... Do I have a skull mask? <laughs> I don't really want to use it. I have this other thing upgraded all this much, and I can't even upgrade that one, it seems like. But uh, I did not know that. Maybe I would have been using it and upgrading it if I knew that I had a skull. Although then I wouldn't be able to see Todd Howard's face, so... This game is- the game is still shit in some parts of DS Fix, you still get drops in Izolith. Or 99% players that do, uh, or 99% of players do. Izolith, Pan, World, and Peace of Blight Town. See, I never, ever, got any FPS drops in Dark Souls. Like, oh, mm, on PC. On Xbox it happened. I mean, like, Blight Town was fucking garbage with- with FPS. But I never had it in, uh, in Dark Souls. And I was recording it, you know what I mean? I could look back later and see that, like, no, that's that's perfectly fine FPS. Although I was only recording it in 30 FPS, so that might be something. I don't know. But still, 
it wasn't like there was never a time where it like lagged or anything like it did on Xbox. Become Skeletor. He man must die. I wish I could do a good Skeletor. Um, sometimes when I slide down a ladder, I slide through the floor and out of the world. Kind of annoying, but rare. Yeah, I've got that one. I got that one once. Play Demon Souls then, or waste for sh wait for Shadow Die twice. I don't know what Shadow Die twice is. Shadow Die twice looks awful. I don't know what it is. I have, I have no idea what that is. I don't follow a lot of game news because it's usually disappointing. Oh, okay, here's the boss. Final boss? Is the final boss a girl? Final boss, okay, it is the final boss. All right, final boss! She is the queen. She's got nothing going on there, but, uh... Okay, she'll do. Nishandra. Or Nishandra. Um... Okay, yeah, I didn't think that was gonna work. Cursed, which is making me lose health. It is pretty weird that that's how... Cursed works? Doesn't, isn't Curse supposed to do something else? I don't know. I just don't understand Curses. I mean, I know they definitely did something different in the other game. Okay, now I'm Cursed, but then I just stopped being Cursed in like 10 seconds. Is that supposed to happen? I don't get it. Am I supposed to kill these? Is that going to stop the Curse? It's not even that bad. It's really... <laughs> oh no, those are the things making the Curse. Oh, of course. Duh. Yeah, it wasn't when I was getting close to her. It just happened that one of them was close to her, so it kind of got me confused there. She's not going to do a burst, is she? She's going to do a burst. Yep, that's a, that's a burst. Okay. Give me a quick heal. Heal me up, baby. Okay, you know what? Let's get another heal. Why not? Um, what was it about this boss being, like, bullshit? So far, it's just kind of, like, easy peasy. Um, is this boss supposed to be hard? The only bullshit thing is her little burst attack, and even that hasn't done anything so far. Uh, does she have another form? Or was that it? There's no way that was the fucking final boss, right? That was the easiest thing I've done in my life! No. Was that it? No way! No, that wasn't it, right? This, this is like the real boss now. Right? That was it. That was not it. You're a fucking liar. What are you talking about? Oh, you're talking about this game. I have no idea. Yeah, Shadow Die Twice. I don't know what it is. Oh, no, wait. I heard a little bit about it. Yeah, it's some new FromSoft game or something, right? That was it. You're a... There's no way. You said the final boss was bullshit. I could fucking beat that with one hand. No. No. Come on. It is your choice to embrace that's it this is it I, I, I what a disappointing ending yeah 
<laughs> well, getting to see Todd Howard's face again in a very serious moment. Uh, that, that helps. What a, what a beautiful face. Todd Howard, long live the king. Great sovereign Todd Howard. Hip hip hooray, three cheers for the king. Also, that's why Skyrim 2 hasn't been made yet. They locked him away. He's got to rule Dark Souls 2 Kingdom from inside of it. That was actually the end of the game. That was like actually it. That was the shittiest ending. That was, well, that was fun. I mean, uh, almost as if the whole game was disappointing, huh? Yeah, like, oh uh, yeah, almost. You said she was cheap, not strong. Play Nekopara now. I, my voice is already just recovering from that like scream. So, um, uh, no, Nekopara kills my voice every time I play it. I thought Skyrim Special Edition was the sequel. No, that's just a special edition. It's in the name. We need a Skyrim 2. You better believe uh, Todd Howard's working on a Skyrim 2. Lewd the lowly. You don't st stop it. You don't do that. At the very most, if she's of age, you know, of of age, then you might marry the lowly, but uh, you don't you don't loot her. Until I mean, I guess if you were, if you were married, then you know that's just the right thing to do at that point. Voice or penis? What? Huh? Voice? Or penis. Actually, he spoke. He he typed out penis. Penis. What do you mean, <laughs> voice or penis? Lowly of age. One of these things is not like the other. What do you mean? She could be a thousand-year-old dragon who just happens to look like a small child. If she's a five-thousand-year-old fairy. Yeah, exactly. In which case, it's actually very strange because you're fucking like a, a grandma. Oh, Dalton just said from the other room, because I said Nekopara messed up my voice. He said voice or penis. Okay, that's it. it I didn't I didn't catch the train of thought there because it's not a very good joke, Dalton. But uh, okay, Shinobu is of age. I don't know who that is. Could I, I really am not too interested in who made this game, but special thanks to Mika Geary and Andrew Davis. Uh, you really went the extra mire, mile, mire. What was that, Dalton? Oh, the jo he said the joke wasn't worth it. Okay, it's a good thing he yelled at me to interrupt, to say that, don't, ig just ignore me. Like yelling from the other room, ignore me. The credit should be, just be, B-Team. <laughs> these marketing guys, though, these are the real superstars. Right, right here, the, well, now they're gone. But those fucking marketing people, they're the ones who made this game a success. I mean, let's be honest. They know what they're doing. Now, are they fucking stupid? Yeah, maybe. Because they did, like, focus on the difficulty thing to the point where that, like, the game itself suffered, probably. Uh, but, did it sell? Yes. What is Iberica? What is Iberica? Do you see that? Where the fuck is Iberica? Hellas. Where is Hellas? Is Iberica a different way to say Iberia? But what the fuck is Hellas? Because you, know, you saw the other, it was different, like, regions. It was like, uh, you know, Italy. U.S., Japan, whatever. Iber Iberica. Hellas. Are these countries I just don't know about? Hella cool country. Oh yeah, Hellas. Oh, sorry. Of course I've heard of Hellas. 
It was the Chang family worked on this one. Mike and Tobias. Original Dark Souls 2. Wait, what? Huh? Oh, those credits were for the were for the the DLC that's supposed to have fixed the game. These are the credits for the original game. So now we get the whole credit sequence again. And I still cannot, I still cannot skip it. I mean, I guess I could just close out of the game, but what if something, that's just gonna be something at the end. Not where, those are translators. They probably just want to say that language in its own language. Oh. It makes sense. Dark Souls is hard. Prepare to die. Yeah, it's, it's fucking stupid. I mean, this game was hard, I guess you could say. It doesn't feel that hard at the end of it. You know, sitting here right now, I don't feel like, I don't feel very accomplished. Because that's kind of like an important thing about any, any interaction. Like anything you do, the thing you remember is the beginning, the end, and the most interesting point in between. And currently I'm a little fixated on the end, which was garbage. Uh, so... I don't even know what the most interesting point in between would have been. That fucking boss that killed me in one hit after I thought he wouldn't react to me. Yeah, that was fun, I guess. Play Jack 2, that's hard. I could. I don't know if I really want to. I think we might just be wrapping it up soon. I'm just trying to figure out what's at the end of this credits. If we are going to play something else, it'd probably be like... Near Automata... Or something. You lost your Jack 2 save data halfway through the game. Not doing that again. Yeah. That's... Yeah. It's pretty... I haven't I haven't played Jack 2 in a long time. And I barely played any of it. Because it was at like a friend's house. I think it was at my cousin's house. But not the sad cousin. The redneck cousin. Um, but... Uh, yeah. I don't know. I haven't played much of any of the Jack games. Played the new Crash Bandicoot game. That's hard. Um, I, I don't know. We beat it. Congrats. Yeah. Um. Oh, wait. No, if we keep playing, it's probably we'll probably play the DLC, right? Does anybody know how to do the DLC? Isn't it, like, really hard, hard to... Uh... I'm here, by the way. Yeah, howdy. Does anybody actually know how to do that? Where to find it? Isn't it like really hard to get to? Which seems like stupid. Because everybody says it's the best part of the game. So why wouldn't you just like... Just have big neon signs saying, Hey! This is what you're here for! This way! Fun! Over here! Big bright letters! Fun! Right here! Would you like to have some fun? Just follow the signs, kids. But, uh, no, I guess not. You're disappointed in the Crash remaster? They failed at rec rec recreating the art style? It looks like a shitty Unity game now? You know how to do the DLC. Okay. Um, well, if the credits ever actually end, I think we've gone through them like a third time now. Okay, well, here we go. This is actually a little longer than I expected. Eric Young. Thanks, Eric Young. Thanks, Simon Brown. Uh, you did... You, you had something involved here. Autodesk Beast Software. Okay. I don't know what that... I've never heard of that. I've heard of Autodesk, I think. I don't know what Beast is, but uh, fine. I would watch a video too, though. It's not that easy to explain via text. Oh, watch this. Oh, okay. Well, um, we might just be wrapping it up simply because I need to work out in the morning. I also need to go shooting. And I need to pee. And we beat the game, so it's like a decent place to stop. Whereas the DLC, if I'm going to have to watch a video, I'll just watch a video on my own time and then come back to this to do the DLC. You know? That makes sense to me. Do you have anything to say now that I've done everything you've asked of me? Not a single fucking thing. 
great. Is this one of those games where, like, when you continue the game, everybody acts as if you're right before the end of it? It'd be kind of weird since they didn't really show that in any way, but, uh... Need to. Well, I mean, I... I I'm, I'm done with Dark Souls for a little bit. I'm, I'm extremely disappointed. I think it's just like, hey, uh, that's good enough for me. Yeah. Probably there will be a stream. You haven't finished the game. Yeah, but, like, there's going to be a lot left, right? I mean, the DLC is not quick, right? Begin Journey 2 to drink. I guess that's n n uh, New Game Plus. Like, look at all this. There's fucking, like, what is that? Eight levels left? Not meant, not, not including this couple in the middle. We just missed, I guess. It only ends when you use the bonfire, I believe. You think the bonfire has an end it option or something? You mean this? That's not really end it. That's beginning my second. It sure looks like there's not an end it option. It's just this. Which I'm not going to do right now. So yeah, we're, we're just going to end it here. I'll probably be streaming tomorrow, 7 o'clock, you know, 7 o'clock Pacific PM. Um, I don't know what. I don't know what at all, actually. We'll see. We'll figure it out before. Because I don't know what I need. Eagle Within? Near Automata? I don't know. But it ends your first playthrough. Oh, okay. Got it. Yep. See ya. Have a good night, you degenerate. Why would you call me these things? But yeah, it's been fun. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys. Well, you know, I mean, that's actually... Normally I say that. I've sort of gotten the habit of saying it's been fun. But that's only, like, partially true. You guys are great. The game... It's okay. It's alright. It's like a, you know, a solid, like, six. Maybe not even. That's a hard one to say. I gotta think about that. Because if, if a five is an average, saying it's a six means it's an above average game. I guess it is. In a lot of ways. But what is average? Is Dark Souls 2 worth a six score? I don't know. I don't know if it's worth a six. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, I was delighting as always. Be nice to Dalton. <laughs> Good times. Okay, well, I'm happy, I'm happy you enjoyed it. Some, you know. I'll see you. Uh, bye-bye.